Crenshaw Manchester, CMT, you feel me? This is the home of it right here. I got my ass beat in this alley by, by Inglewood PD. This was my stomping grounds going up. The 60s and, the, and all the Crips on this side, the Pyros and all the other bloods on this side. They could be passing down the street. You gotta be on your P's and Q's. You gotta look around. We don't be mean to be in every car, but shit, that's how you get caught slipping. We got everything in our backyard. I can, I can watch stuff from Darby Park. Hey, what's up, guys? It's a beautiful day in uh, Inglewood. I'm uh, I'm about to meet with Nayan. He's from the city, and uh, he's gonna show us around a little bit. My name is Nayan Kizi, Tiny Philosophy from 80th Street, and we just out here right now where I used to hustle back when I was younger, when I was like in high school and shit, and you know selling weed and selling dope. I used to do it right over in this area. 82nd, you know, the homie got killed right up there on Crenshaw on 82nd, so it's a lot of historical significance from the neighborhood just around this area alone. The murder rate was way higher back in the 80s and 90s than it was when I was growing up. I got like the last little end of that. When I was starting to become a teenager, that's like the last part of the murder rate, the early 2000s, but yeah, it was way worse. We over here on 82nd, you know what I'm saying, but this was my stomping grounds going up. So this was a lot of different things that I used to do around here, you know, it's really like hustle and be in and out different people's apartment buildings, but we on Crenshaw right now though. This is all Inglewood, this is the set right here. This is all Inglewood. You're not even on camera, we got you now. Yes ma'am. Yeah, but you know, everybody just doing them, trying to find a way to survive, get in where you fit in. We got a lot of enemies, people that don't like Inglewood, so growing up on Crenshaw, especially if you a blood, it's real important to stay on your P's and Q's. Like I said, the homie got killed right up here on 82nd at Crenshaw, like a year after I went to jail. Back over here where I used to hustle and sell dope at, it was a... It was really a sanctuary, it was peace. It was a way I can get away from everything, you know what I'm saying, and make money, think about my rap songs, think about what I want to do in my life. It was a lot of like solid shit going on just behind the scenes and nobody not really knowing where we at, but based on us being on Crenshaw, it attracted a lot of attention. We on the top side of Inglewood, so we sit right in the middle. Like you said, it's Pot Rules on Crenshaw, the main street. So we separate, you feel me? The 60s and, the, and all the Crips on this side and the, and the, and the, and the, and the Pot Rules and all the other bloods on this side. So like we said, right here on Crenshaw, so they could be passing down the street. You gotta be on your P's and Q's. You gotta look around. We don't be mean to be in every car, but shit, that's how you get caught slipping. So you gotta look in every car, check it out. Pay attention. Yeah, man, like, a lot of homies then got killed on Crenshaw. Like, just this one street right here. So that's something that you got to be mindful of, you know. And, and, and it's vice versa. Everybody know that Crenshaw is a dangerous, a very dangerous street. We're about to go up to Darby Park. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The headquarters. <laughs> the best park in L.A. Behind this park right here that we about to go to, this is where they build in the Ram Stadium. And they came over here and offered people millions of dollars for their house. Ain't nobody selling though. Few people have sold and moved, but a lot of people not trying to sell nothing. But once they build the stadium, stadium two billion dollars. So once they build this shit, everybody property about to yeah, skyrocket. Bro, going up. Ram. Skyrocket. Look at it. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah. And my parlay is going to hit. <laughs> I went to all Eaglewood schools. Daniel Freeman, Warren Lane, to say. and Eaglewood High School. Calvary Christian, but Calvary, everything right, right here in Eaglewood. Daniel Freeman, Warren Lane, Calvary Christian. We went to Warren Lane, got kicked out of Warren Lane. You feel me? Went to Daniel Freeman. Went from Freeman and Calvary Christian. It's all Inglewood. These four corners right here, shit, this all I already knew growing up. It's, it's Prince Sean Manchester. So Inglewood is 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 it, it, it get it get put into you. You feel me? So either you gonna eat or you gonna feel me? You gonna get ate up. So I mean, it, it all is it becomes a choice. You know, you got some people who play ball. You got some people who do different things. Um, really, like you said, gravitating back to headquarters. We start up, we grow up at the park. You see homies hanging out. You feel me? You see people pulling up in new cars, like you said, from Rod to Deuce to to OKB to the to you feel me? Free the homies that's locked up now, even to another hop out, even them the people who brought me home. So it's it's people who've been in this, you know. So it's like you said, it's it, it's some people. It's not. Oh, I want to come be a part of Inglewood. You already born into Inglewood, you know. So you grow up knowing fuck the other side. Like before you even gangbang, they they marking us like, oh, they from Inglewood, you know. So it's problems already. So fuck it, like you might as well. This the park right here. This park, the homies been coming up here before I was born, but 
We come up here to work out, you know, have a good time, no trouble really. We just stay cool. Everybody come up here, have a good time, you know, play basketball at this park when I was growing up. Uh, when I was like 12, 11, play ball. One of the homies, you know, he in jail right now, Tiny Ben, free him. But yeah, we just all grew up around here, man, playing basketball. You know, and the homies was up here having a good time, barbecuing, doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Staying out of trouble. It's a place you come when you want to stay out of trouble. When you're not trying to get into nothing, when you just want to, you know, kick back, this is where you go. We could tell outsiders. So, like you said, we're not coming here looking for trouble. We come into the park to chill. We got the gym here. We got the basketball courts. So, we come here to chill. This is where we all meet up at. Like you said, we'll barbecue. We sit back, smoke, chill. Of course, if somebody come here, you know, with the wrong colors on or, you know, on some bullshit, then yeah, you gotta, you're supposed to bang on them, but we not out here just banging on anybody who come to the park. Nah, oh, man, like, it's families out here, it's people out here, we be trying to chill, man, we just kicking it. Growing up over here, it's, it's million dollar houses, like, everybody got money over here, like, our grandmas been living over here for so long, you know what I'm saying, where they might have bought a house at a hundred thousand. And by the time I was born in the 80s, late 80s, the 90s, you know what I'm saying, the house was worth 600000 already. So everybody pretty much had money growing up around Inglewood. We all got homes. It's nice homes in Inglewood. You know, we got some apartments and stuff. But, yeah, it's it pretty, for the most part, we it's pretty cool around here. They like to say Inglewood is always up to no good. But, you know, it's got its own persona. So that's only when people come through popping their bullshit. We don't ever look for problems. It don't. Sometimes it don't always go bad, but we never come looking for problems, you know. So... We 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 naturally a blood city, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, so it's in our DNA to be clean, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how we carry ourselves, you know. We is park babies. Everybody grew up at the park, you know what I'm saying? But we carry ourselves and conduct ourselves in a real sharp manner, you know what I'm saying? Organized shit, like moving solid, you know what I'm saying? Not too much bullshit. So we grew up with value already instilled in us, to where. We can be in million dollar positions and get shit done, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff going on with Inglewood entrepreneurs, you know what I'm saying? Homies that, you know what I'm saying, niggas ain't really put out there like they should, but it's still going on successfully. We're in sky high, man. Like yeah. I said, stay right here in the Holly Park. No, it was my cousin had a spot, man. It was a one bedroom. They was charging him 1700 So he got up out of there. It's, it's rent sky high. The stadium helps, but at the same time, it, it's bad. We're going to have a lot of traffic. When this shit happening at the forum right now, it's traffic. So then imagine when the stadium get built. It's horrible to get home. So, you know, I don't know. It's cool, but sky high rent. As long as we don't sell out, though. The, sky, the house prices is going up, but, you know, if we sell out, then it's not going to be us here. So they're going to take it back. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, and then the rent being so high, that's like kind of fucking shit up, too. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a lot of apartments in Inglewood, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what I'm saying? So with the rent being high, motherfuckers is moving out. You got different type of people moving in. You got to watch what's going on because this ain't the same faces you knew. You know, it's a whole different crowd now because the rent is so high. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know who working with the police and none of that shit. You got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You never know. We got different ways to, you know, wiggle and, and, and get to where we need to get. So we learned that growing up, you know, walking from here to there. I live on this side, right on the other side of the park. So walking from Crenshaw, Manchester, getting off the bus, walking through the back way. So we know this. You learn the city. The park is home. So shit, like he said, we come here to chill. I used to dish school, come here and smoke, chill. And a lot of the older homies, not on, like we said, not on a lot of bullshit, man. They used to tell me, like, why y'all hanging out? You feel me? Y'all just out here every day. Y'all not doing nothing. Go to school or go do something, you know, like shit. So that's something that a lot of people ain't on bullshit. Like, you know, they don't make you, they don't tell you here, go do this or here, go do that. You know, it's all by choice. Like you said, if you brought up in this, then you gonna handle business for your city. If you're not brought up in this, then you know it is what it is. We walk into Christian on Manchester right now. I got my ass beat in this alley by, by Inglewood PD. Yeah, you know who did it. Me and my nigga GGFIP. They beat our ass when y'all about like 16 years old. Whoop my feet. I, ain't, I couldn't do nothing about it. Crenshaw Manchester, CMT, you feel me? It's the home up right here, you feel me? Most people scared to come up here. To, most people scared to come to this gas station right here across the street. They scared to go to these rallies right here, you feel me? They scared to go to this fat burgers. Our people can come right here, but the wrong people can't come right here. You feel me? It, look like a, it just looked like a big old street intersection and all that. But to us, <laughs> this, this, this headquarters right here, you feel me? Oh, yeah, any nigga, Chris Sean Manchester, they're gonna tell you. In the four corners of death right there, make sure you get all of them. So they know when they see this shit, you feel me? Let's go Rams. Yeah. yeah we walking up 11th Avenue. 
Come on. You know what I mean? But you know, like I said, it's a Super Bowl day. You feel me? I came on a good day. Rams about to take this, you feel me? They got all bets, nigga. Growing up for me was kind of cool, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? I ain't had, you know, problems like that, like, as far as, like, going to schools and all that, you feel me? All my schools that I went to was in Inglewood, so I ain't had no problem, like, catching a bus all the way to Crenshaw or, you feel me, schools in Compton. I ain't had that type of shit, you feel me? But, like I said, niggas do come through, you feel me? I don't blood, and when they come through, you feel me? Niggas come through, you feel me? So, you feel me? Like I said, it, it wasn't that hard, but, nigga, it was hard, you feel me? I don't blood. That's real Inglewood shit, though, you feel me? You see the sweater, Inglewood Rams. Like I said, it's LA. I don't know why it's LA when this is Inglewood, clearly, you feel me? We about to go to the Forum, to the Great Western Forum. You feel me? Where the Lakers used to do their thing at. Right there, that's what they that's what they building that little thing at. That feel me for the Rams. Across the street right there. That's the little Rams stadium. I told you, we got everything in our backyard. I can, I can watch stuff from Darby Park. I went to a fight last week, you feel me? A little UFC fight up here at the Forum. A little regular little shindig. Pulled up in a, in a Rolls Royce, you feel me? Regular shit, you feel me? Blast. This is where the Lakers used to play at when I was young. I used to come and watch games here. You know, I seen a few Laker games, a few King games. But you know, ever since they built the Staples Center, everybody, you know, all the sports teams left and shit. But now that they building the Rams Stadium, you know, they bringing back a lot of sports franchises back to the city. They knocked the horse track down to build the Rams Stadium. That's how they building what they building right now. Right across from the Forum, you know, we got the cemetery. You know, and everybody I know. My whole life is buried in that cemetery. There's no other cemetery that they were buried in. Everybody I know. That's the entrance right there. That's where I learned how to drive one of my cars. My first car. <laughs> I used to drive around the parking lot in the cemetery. We're at Inglewood High School. You know, that's where I went to school at. I graduated in the 100-year anniversary of the school being built. So, shit, the school was up. 1905, we graduated in 05, 1905, 2005. So, yeah, it was like some real, like, classy shit just for us, you know what I'm saying, for our year, but the whole Inglewood and produced so many great basketball stars and football players, you know, my best friend, Lawrence Jackson, he went to the NFL out of uh, Inglewood High School, he went to USC, then he went to the Seattle Seahawks, that's why it's my favorite team, but this is the high school right here, you know, a lot of shit, you know, I used to hustle up here when I was younger, you know, just bad as a motherfucker, Selling weed, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of shit changed since then. You know, the graduation rate then got better. I barely graduated, man. That's why I, didn't, I was mad at myself. I, I wasn't able to, to go to university. You know, I had fucked up, man, and uh, didn't get my grades right in time. So I knew that I wasn't going to be able to go to a college. So I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, really start focusing on the streets more. I'm trying to get my money together. But yeah, this, this is one of the places, man, like, where, where every young nigga, the majority of the young niggas in the city come through here, you know, a lot of them. Either here or Morningside, you know, it's either them two high schools. The courthouse and all that over there, and the library, everybody from this court get bound over to Torrance. Torrance got a 95%, a 95%, 98% conviction rate, I believe. 98%, it's the same as the feds. You know, it's, it's high. The Torrance, but everybody from Inglewood Court get bound over to Torrance Court. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Nyan uh, for showing the city. Yeah, you know, just showing them what it's like growing up in Inglewood on the top side. You know what I'm saying? It's real life. We out here trying to get our money right. You know, our success, our struggles, our pain. You know, showing you what it's like growing up out here. <laughs>